Hey everybody, welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy and today I want to talk about why you probably shouldn't hollow out your resin 3D prints. Now this is the bad side of hollowing, but if you want to know about the good side of hollowing, I made a separate video for that. So go ahead and click the card somewhere up there on the top of my head or check the link in the description so that you can see a video that will explain and show you how you can hollow out your 3D resin prints and talk about all the benefits of that. But like a lot of things in life, there is a flip side and that flip side is not too good. Now, even though hollowing your figures will save you a lot of money and resin in the long term, it's also an inherent risk to that. And the risk is leaking resin. So when you hollow out your prints, you should always put drain holes in them because that gives the resin a place to drain out of while it's printing and it gives that IPA or whatever cleaning solution that you're using a chance to get into that hollowed out cavity and clear out any uncured resin that may be clinking to the walls or hiding in a corner or something like that so that when you cure it, everything will be nice and solid all the way through. But you really can't always be 100% sure that you've cleaned everything out thoroughly. And if you don't clean everything out thoroughly, you may find that as time goes on, it could be a day, it could be a week, could be months, you'll see that resin is starting to leak out of your figure, either through the drain holes that you put in the figure or in the most extreme situations, the resin will crack the figure entirely as it starts to build up pressure on the inside looking for a way out and then boom, your figure cracks, the resin leaks out and if you have it on a shelf next to other figures that resin could just go over there and ruin those figures. If you have some other type of decoration or even just the shelving itself, the resin could potentially damage that and if you got little kids running around or something like that, you don't want them touching it. So. Hollowing out your figures is an inherently risky thing to do if you are not extremely, extremely thorough with the washing and curing process. It has happened to me, so let me show you a small example of that. This is a little mini bus of Popeye the Sailor from Fotis Mint. So I found this over on Printables and I used to always look at VHS tapes of Popeye the Sailor growing up. So I thought it'd be really cool to have a nice little bust of him. Now, by default, this was a solid figure, but I decided that I wanted to make it hollow just to save on some resin. So I decided to put a few drain holes at the bottom of it so that when he's when he's being washed then that IPA can get in there and they can clean it out and I thought that's what happened but then this happened now as you look on the bottom of this and I turn it you can probably see a little bit of shininess on the bottom of this base and that shininess is from uncured resin that came leaking out of this figure. Now I did everything that I thought I had to do. You know, I dunked it in the IPA. I saw the bubbles come up and I swished it around. It did everything I thought I was supposed to do. And then I decided to take it upstairs and I just put it down on the table. And a few hours later, I came back, wanted to admire the print and how nice it looks as it does look really good. I took it off the table and underneath it, was gray uncured resin. And I thought, whoa, that's crazy. I thought I cleaned this thing out thoroughly, but turns out it wasn't good enough. So what I decided to do was I just put it near a window and I tried to let the sun cure it. And then I also got myself one of those little mini UV flashlights, this thing right here. And I would shine it on the bottom of it and you can kind of even see the cured resin right there just right by the holes and i did that until nothing was leaking out anymore i just kind of kept it out of the way on a paper towel and i would go back and check on it for days and then when nothing was coming out there was no sign of any more resin leaking out i thought okay that's fine now but it was a lesson to learn but another thing happened to me after that, even when I thought I'd made all of the proper precautions, and this was with one of my favorite prints to date, and it was a diorama of Cable by Wicked. So I printed everything out, and the pieces came separately. The torso was separate from the legs. The legs were separate from the base. So when I printed 
The top half of Cable, I thought, I don't want him to turn out like Popeye. So after dunking him in a first IPA wash and making sure those bubbles came up, putting my thumb over the hose and shaking him up real good, did that a handful of times, put him in the wash and cure station for about three, maybe it was four minutes, let him get washed there and then cured him, took the top half of Cable upstairs and put him hose down on a paper towel so that I could see later on if resin was ever gonna leak. And I left him there for two, maybe three days. Nothing happened. So I thought I was clear to go ahead and print the legs and I, then I printed the base. Everything was hollow, did the same procedure for everything. Super glued everything together. It's looking good. I'm admiring it, and then some days after that, I go to admire it, and it looked like Cable had wet his pants. You can take a look at it here, and you can just see how that resin, which I'm assuming came from the top half because it's starting to go down, has completely made his waistline and down to close to his knee very shiny looking. And in addition to that, I also thought maybe something had been up because when I would walk into the room, I would smell what I thought was a faint smell of resin in the air. And I was just kind of ignoring it until I looked at Cable and said, oh my God, this guy is totally leaking resin. So I took the whole thing outside. I let him sit there for the entire day, pretty much until it got too cloudy and it might start to rain. So I took him in the garage. I've been periodically spraying it down with IPA just in case that resin is leaking on the outside and it's not just the inside. But to this day, Cable now lives in the garage because I am just not comfortable bringing him back into the house because I don't know what's going to happen. I could try to break him apart and rewash it and recure it, but I think that it might just break into a lot of little pieces if I do that because it's super glued on there pretty darn good. So at this point, I'm just going to let nature do whatever nature is going to do. If the pressure builds up on the inside of him and Cable's leg ends up getting completely busted open and the resin comes out, then it just kind of is what it is. But looking back at the time that I spent printing that, that diorama and the resin that I spent and the potential that it could just be useless at this point is very, very upsetting. But it is a lesson learned in the downsides of hollowing out 3D resin figures. Even if you're really good at it and you think that you've really cleaned it out good and you've got yourself a little UV flashlight and you got a syringe with IPA and you're shooting the IPA inside those holes, you're doing all that you can, there's still a chance that it's not going to work out and the resin is going to leak. So if that's something that you don't want to have on your plate, something that you don't want to have to worry about months down the line, weeks down the line, however long it's going to be, you don't want to end up having your figure and anything else around it potentially ruined by resin that just decided to leak out ever so slowly, then maybe it's best to print your figure solid, even if it's going to cost you more money and more resin at the end of the day, just so you can have that extra added insurance. Now, of course, it depends on what you're printing. If you're printing one third scale, one fourth scale things, I mean, that is a lot of resin that you could be saving. You may just want to take a risk, maybe more confident in your abilities, but you should always be aware of the potential risks when it comes to hollowing out your figures. So that's it, you guys. That's the bad side of hollowing out your 3D resin figures. But let me know in the comments if you think it's worth the risk. If you print your figures hollow, or if you print them solid, or if you just kind of switch between the two, and any advice or tips that you might have in order to get a very nicely cleaned and cured hollow figure so maybe the rest of us won't ever have to worry about that again. But I do want to thank you all so much for checking out this video. And if you want to see more videos, it's toy related and 3D printing related, figure related, all that good stuff, be sure to subscribe. I appreciate you and I'll see you next time.